sites and local hospitals are taking extra precautions to prevent any possible spread of coronavirus. Premier Health says its hospitals are now starting an advanced screening process. And 2 News reporter Kristen Escal getting answers about exactly how that will work. Morgan Brooks, so far there are no confirmed cases of coronavirus in Ohio, but after two students at Miami University were tested for the virus, some local hospitals are being proactive to detect any possible cases. Now, officials with Premier Health say starting today at all of their hospitals, they're asking people a questionnaire to spot any possible cases. They're asking patients about the symptoms they have and about their travel history. Doctors say some signs of the virus include respiratory symptoms and or a fever. Now, if someone catches what could or matches what could be a possible case, officials say the facility will notify infection control, appropriately isolate the person, and then, if needed, screen the patient for the virus. Now, doctors are reminding patients that flu is still a bigger threat than coronavirus right now, and the best ways to stop the spread of germs include hand washing and coughing or sneezing into your sleeve. Right now, doctors say they're trying to figure out how the coronavirus spreads. What exactly is the limitations for spread? Is it just by droplet, meaning I have to sneeze within close proximity or touch uh, a surface that I have touched? Is it airborne, meaning that it can be passed in a longer distance? And officials with Kettering Health Network tell us in the emergency department, they're asking patients if they've been out of the country within the past 30 days. Kristen Escal, 2 News, working for you.